Sometimes a patient will present to you and they say, I feel something really odd on the inside of my jaw and it feels like my tongue's rubbing on it. It's really sore down there. Can you have a look? So you take out your mirror, you retract the tongue and what you see is basically a dime sized chunk of bone that is sticking out through the gingiva. Now this is concerning if you've never seen this or heard about it before. But what this is, is the mylohyoid ridge that we're looking at and the mylohyoid muscle connects here. So this is a sharp bony ridge that if the tissue over top of it gets irritated or traumatized too much, what will happen is it will actually wear away and you'll have bone exposed in this region. Now assuming that that continues to be traumatized or the tongue is rubbing against it, not allowing the tissues to heal over or granulate over in time, that bone can actually become necrotic and it will basically be sloughed away and can even be loose in there to the point where you could just remove it from the mouth. So what we want to do first is we want to get a relevant history for this patient. So we want to look first, have they had any type of treatments that may be causing this? So let's say maybe bisphosphonate usage or another example might be like radiation, head and neck radiation. Make sure that they don't have any underlying complicated medical histories. If they don't, then likely the cause is trauma. Now they may or may know, not know when this happened, likely they don't know. But some causes could be that they've had a posterior extraction done recently. It could be that they've ate something hard or a utensil has bumped that area and it's traumatized the tissue. They could wear a partial denture or a full denture and maybe it's rubbed on that area to traumatize the tissue. Maybe they were just put under uh, general anesthesia for a surgery and they were intubated and the intubation process bumped on that area there over here and basically rubbed off the tissue or traumatized it and now the bone is exposed. So we need to find out usually what the cause is, make sure there's nothing serious medically. If it isn't, it's likely trauma, and this is how we would manage it. First thing you're going to do is you're going to find out if the bone is mobile or not, if it's connected. So if it's connected, it's likely vital and viable bone, so you want to try to leave it there. And if it's not connected and mobile, basically you can reach into the hemostat or curette and just basically flick the bone out or lift the bone out. Now if it is connected, basically what you want to do is dry it here, apply some topical, and then what I'll usually use is like a little football burr, so just a rounded burr of some sort to get in there and just smooth that bone down. So you're going to get into that lingual surface and you're just going to take away the sharp edges on there, try to get back to some areas of the bone that are bleeding a little bit, get some bleeding to stimulate some healing and some formation of new tissue. Now you're going to want to provide that patient with a twice daily 0.12% chlorhexidine rinse to make sure that everything stays nice and healthy as it's healing up. If the patient wears a denture, make sure that you've relieved the denture in that area and that you've fitted it again to make sure there's no pressure on that area. And also tell them that it could be a bit of a process, so have them be very aware of keeping away from that area. Don't have them play with it too much with their tongue. Try to stay clear of it because it may take anywhere from four to five weeks for that to completely kind of heal over. So once you do this, once you relieve those sharp edges, get the bone ground back, it's going to heal up quite nicely in most cases with minimal complications and minimal discomfort.